when we hear about uh, readings like this, we know that following Jesus is not going to be easy. He says, unless you take up your cross and follow me, you're not worthy of me. Do not think that I've come to bring peace, but division, that there will be times when we have to choose to follow Christ, which may go, go, that which may go against the people in our family. When we say, I'm going to live up to what God is asking of me, and they'll say, oh, you're being judgmental, you're being critical, you're, you're not uh, very nice, are you? And God is saying to us, this, this is going to happen. I must be first. I must be most important. We look throughout the centuries. You know, a lot of times we sometimes think, well, if I follow Jesus, then everything will fall into place and it'll be great. That's not the story of our history. It's not the story of the saints. You look at the saints. So many of them were persecuted, were martyred. But where do we go? How do we move forward? It's in the will of God. I think I shared with you that I'm re-listening to um, the book a, a, The Hiding Place by Cory Ten Boom. And it's a beautiful story about how this Dutch Protestant was hiding Jews in World War II. And there's this point just after the war starts where this bombing is happening in her hometown and she's terrified and everything. But one point she she's in bed and she wakes up and because she hears the bombing going on and then she hears her sister downstairs getting tea so she goes downstairs to make some tea too and they're talking for a while and then finally she goes back upstairs and she gets into bed and her hand touches something cold and sharp and she starts to bleed and when she figures out what's going on it was a piece of shrapnel that landed on her pillow. And she, she came back downstairs, she grabbed her sister, what if, what would have happened if, all, all this stuff. You know, so frightened and bleeding. And as her sister is wrapping up her hand to keep it from bleeding, she says, we, we can't do the what ifs. We can't do the what ifs. The only safe place is in the will of God. The only safe place we have is in the will of God. There we are safe, and it doesn't mean that we won't face persecutions or sufferings or trials or even martyrdom. But we'll be safe in the heart of the will of God. 